All right, um, so this one is going to be about duplicating a blog post. Um, this is going to assume that we have already established the blog and we are now just going to duplicate a post. A lot of times I have clients that this is one of the elements of, the, of their website, that this is what they would like to be able to do on the regular on their own. And this will be a video tutorial to teach them how to do it, which in turn will teach you, um, a crush course student, how to do this as well and how to teach your clients if that's the direction you go. So what, we, what we're working with is Immersion Health. Um, they current, let's get to their blog now and take a look at what it looks like. So information, we'll go to blog. And this is their blog main page, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate refined seed oil. So we're just going to click on this blog, right? And you can see header image, uh, it's blog. Uh, Maria Zilka is the author, Redefine, uh, Re Refined Seed Oils Equals Poison by Maria Zilka. You have this title section, you have the paragraph, you have a fancy, what the, is called a fancy unordered list. Um, and then we have an image with some, you know, decent amount of text on this one image to kind of break things up, give it a little flavor, give it a little variation rather than just a bunch of words. And then we have a, a YouTube video dropped in there. I don't think we're going to have that on this blog post, but on the one coming up. And then another image with some copy content over top of it, and then closing out with the rest of the copy content. So that's it. And at the bottom, the blog is already set up and designed to just you know show a link to the next blog in order um, of descending by date. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this one right here. So what we'll do is we'll go to posts on the back end. Here we are in posts, refined seed oils. So I've already downloaded the duplicate this plugin. So I can just click on that one. And we now have a duplicated uh, refined seed oils. You can see it says draft right there. So I'm going to go right into this one and go into edit. So working from the top down, um, this is now the duplicated or replicated blog post of refined seed oil. So working from the top down, we're going to start at the top with the title. And the title on this one by Greg is Research and Therapies Related to Vaccine Injuries. So change the title first and foremost. All right, I'm going to change this to an ampersand just to shorten that a little bit. Research and therapies related to vaccine injuries. Um, it kind of helps to shorten these as much as possible, um, just for the sake of how the title looks in, in the blog uh, hub. So I'm going to copy that now, and I'm going to change the permalink that you see here. So we're going to change that one to that. And you click OK, and it automatically adjusts itself to be what it needs to be uh, in relation to the title of the blog. So there we go. Um, down here to the right, before we get into the the copy content and what's what the blog is all about, we're going to adjust the things around it first. So over here to the right, uh, leave it at standard. Um, let's see, categories, blog Maria Zilka. So we're going to unclick Maria and change it to Dr. Greg because this is going to be a blog post by Dr. Greg. And then tags, we're going to say, um, we'll just take a couple of the words out of the title. So therapies. Add that one. Uh, vaccine injuries. We'll add that one. And we can add research. So those are, these will be the three tags for this particular blog post. Add. Let's remove fat, remove poison, and remove seed oils because that was to the old blog post. Now featured image. Um, we'll go ahead and, and swap that one out, which is going to be the main image that you see on the on the blog hub page where all the blog posts are and it's going to be the header image across the top of the blog so we're going to go ahead and replace this one which you see is a bunch of seeds here we're going to work our way over to photoshop i've already selected a few images that you can see right here from deposit photos royalty free or not royalty free but i've, I've paid for them to use them on the blog i'm going to pull it into photoshop and i'm going to adjust this to my standard 1920 by 1080 
at 72 dpi that looks pretty good right there don't need to do much with it that'll work and now i'm going to save that for web as a jpeg no get out of here jpeg medium's fine with me it's quality 30 that works drops it down to 56k i mean 53k which you can see that's pretty darn good for a 1920 by 1080 image uh, ensures fast page load time so let's just call this header desktop save and we're going to remove featured image here and set featured image grab our header image from the desktop drag it in it's loading set featured image and we are good to go so far so starting from the top down we change the title we change the permalink uh, we change the author right the categories for the kept it at blog change it from maria to dr greg um, change the uh, the tags for the blog remove the old ones added therapies vaccine injuries and research swapped out the uh, featured image for um, the new featured image for this blog post which again is pixel dimensions 1920 by 1080 at 72 dpi that way everything remains congruent and looks the way it's supposed to throughout all of the blog posts so now what we'll do is um, looking at this one let's talk about fat and where the real shame lies this is the title so we're going to change that to the title of this blog copy it directly from greg and this is an h1 you see here and replace that now it looks to me like because that font looks different i can tell that it's got some sticky coding on it and i need to uh get rid of it so i'm going to highlight that whole thing and i'm going to click this clear formatting boom and you can see that gets rid of whatever coding was attached to that font that was, came out of a word document or who knows what um, but now it's clear and now it's going to look the way it's supposed to when it goes live on the blog post so h1 clear that formatting and save so now there's our title so a fancy unordered list i don't think we need a fancy unordered list here because it's just uh paragraphs so i'm going to just sink my teeth into a good chunk of what's going on here that looks about good uh yeah i guess about a third of it because i'm going to drop an image with some information beneath it here so where do what what information should we drop in that next image block so real quick i'm going to go ahead and publish this and now i'm going to view post open a new tab i'm going to take a look at what's going on here okay so here you can see it's starting to take shape already um so here's our first image we need to figure out what copy content we're going to put with in with an image background to kind of break the blog up and give it and give it some personality and something interesting right and there's another one down here so this first one what are we going to put in here to make this section look decent so i'll go back to this copy content and i'll look at this so let me bring this down so it's not so all over the place what could i drop in there examples of these networks include la 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 we just grab in detail another consequence okay so how about that one we'll do that right there so i'm going to drop that in as the uh, copy content over the image another consequence of innate immune suppression would be the possibility or would be the possible reduced activity of several cancer surveillance networks that operate within all cells to prevent them from becoming malignant so i'm just going to drop some sort of image behind it that seems sort of relative to what he's talking about um i'm just going to use my best judgment and he can swap out the image if he so chooses so i'm going to come down here i'm going to grab this amount of copy content here and i'm going to copy that and i'm going to drop that i'm going to actually i'm going to remove this fancy unordered list and i'm going to add a text block right and I like that and drop that information in we're all good so just in case I'm gonna I'm gonna oops I'm gonna highlight all this 
and I'm going to clear the formatting just in case there's anything sticky in there. Okay, save. So that's good. Now this is this is the one with my image background. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the next chunk of text, that one right there. Copy that, drop that into this scene, and this is an H2 you can see there. And you can tell that that's got some sticky, funky coding going on the font as well. Clear that. It drop. It automatically changes itself to paragraph. I'm going to put that back to H2. Um, looks like um, Grammarly is telling me that I need to fix something here, so I'll click that. And that's good. Click Save. Now I need to drop an image behind this thing. Okay, so I don't know if the image is here, in this editor, or in this editor. Let me check this one background and there it is there's my image and you can see it right there right so I'm gonna swap this image out with this thing and I'm just gonna do this one at 1000 by 1000 because it's uh, the pixel dimensions are just a little different on this one 1000 by 1000 at 72 DPI, I'm going to save that and call it cell. Desktop, save. I'm going to add the image here, drag it in from desktop, and click set image and save. Now, let's just take a look at what we've done so far. We've copied this first initial chunk for the top portion and then this one is the copy content that lays over top of that image to kind of break it up and give it some personality. So we're going to update and we're going to take a look at what it looks like. And there you go. Title, those first few paragraphs and then another consequence lays over top of this cell image and you kind of see where things are headed. It's starting to take shape now. So let's get back in here and we're going to get rid of, we don't need the video player. We don't need that piece right there. We don't need this fancy unordered, unordered list. All we need in that section is a text block once again. All right. So here we have already used all this stuff. So I'm going to get rid of it just to keep track of where I'm at. And now we have this much copy content to work with. All right. Um... I'm going to, I'm just going kind of by like depth of content. And I'm just going to go to about here and just say vaccine injuries are real events. That can be the, the text that lays over top of the next image section. So I can't know if the temporal association between internet injection and the two casual connection between them. I will just use that. And I mean, it feels like it could all go in there, but it just might be a little too much. So I'm going to break my data there for the next section. All right. So what I'm going to do is, okay, so this, this is what I'll put in the image, over top of the image. And I'm going to break it up here. So just to give myself a marker. All right, so I'm gonna copy all this content right to there, and we are going to put that in here. I'm gonna highlight everything, Command A or Control A, and clear formatting just in case. Click Save. All right, and then here we look at it again. The number one thing that anyone can do, so it's copy over image. So we're going to swap that out with this right here. The vaccine injuries are real, right? I'm going to take that and drop that right into this section again. This is H2. And it went swapped itself to paragraph, so I'm going to put it back to H2 and clear formatting. There we go. Looks good to me. Save. Now I got to replace that background image coming over to this little pencil editor here for this whole column or for this whole whole row I'm sorry 
go to background and there's the image now this time I'm gonna use and it's perfect it's poignant it is because I have an image of a doctor getting ready to inject a vaccine again this is 1000 by 1000 and save that like that and I, I hope that's enough um, I need I feel like I need to get that syringe right in the middle of the scene like that right maybe move it over a little bit get a little bit of the person in the background okay I like that so let's save that one and we'll call it Vax and save And we're going to add it right to our blog. It's called Vax Dra Drag and Drop. Set image, save, and let's see where we're at. Update. Come back to our blog post and refresh. Coming on down, we see all the copy con content we just copied and dropped in. Vaccine injuries are, are real events. Look at that. Vaccine injuries are real events. I can't, and then goes on. But look at that. Vaccine injuries are real events with the freaking syringe just squirting out some juice right there. That's a perfect scene. Good job. Good job. All right, so let's get the rest of it in there. Um, this is where we left off. So we can get rid of this fancy unordered list section right here. I can see that we have a text block right there. That's all we need. So I'm going to get rid of this whole um, row. And... Goodbye. And we can get rid of this one. Well, let's see. Call it a schedule right today. No, I'm going to delete that as well because I don't know about a call to action on this post just yet. We might add it later, but I just want to wrap this one up. So coming in, I've got, I've got all that data so far, so I'm going to get rid of all of that so I don't have to look at it anymore, and I know that I've already utilized it. All right, and this is what's left. So this is all going to go underneath of that last image that we have right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy all this. Good. Come in here to our text block. And drop it in. Again, I'm going to highlight everything. Clear formatting. And we should be good to go. Save. Update. Come back here, refresh, and there is our completed blog post. Looks great. Oh, author Shane Dieter. We got to change that because I didn't do it. Greg did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here to posts. I'm going to click on posts, and it's going to take me to all of the posts, right? So research and therapy. So I'm going to do quick edit right here. You can see. And that's going to give me the option to change the author right here to Greg Nye. And then I'm going to update. And then if I come, and while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and just clear the cache. Go to Breeze, Purge All Cache, just to make sure there's nothing sticky going on. Refresh the page. We have our background image of the, as the header. We have our title information. We have that it's by Greg Nye. Blog, Greg Nye. We have our title. We have all our copy content. The links are still hanging in there. And then copy over image to break it up. More information. And then copy over image. And then the rest of the information. All that. And then shows Greg Nye as the author there at the bottom. And that's good to go. So let's go and take a look at the blog main page. Click on blog. And there you go in uh, descending order. His shows up as the most recent blog post right there in the main blog hub. So there it is. Research and therapies related to Vax injuries, blog Dr. Greg Nye. And that's it. That's how you do it. I hope you could follow that. If you have any questions, let me know.